Hi, I'm Ken Blanchard. You know, I love John Gordon and his attitude towards being positive in life. When I think about being positive, I think about being a positive leader. And there's three things you need to remember if you want to be a positive leader. The first one is you have to be a servant leader. What does that mean? It means that it's all about your people, it's not about you. I heard a great quote recently that being a servant leader is really like playing tennis. If you got a great serve, you're gonna win. Now, isn't that great? Because that's what it's all about. You gotta be out there with your people. It's not about you. The second thing you gotta remember is that your number one customer is your people. If you take care of your people, motivate them, train them, you know, love on them and all, then they're gonna go out of the way to take care of your number two customer, which is the people that use your products and services. And when they do that, you know what? They're gonna become raving fans of your organization, and that's gonna take care of the owners and the people that care about results and profits. And so that's really important. And the final one, which is so key, of all the things I've ever taught over the years, if people said to me, Blanchard, I'm gonna take everything away from you except one thing, what would I hold on to? And it, I think it's the key to being a positive leader. You need to wander around and see if you can catch people doing things right and accent the positive. People love to be praised. People love to be noticed. And when you praise somebody, be specific. You just don't wander around and say, nice job, appreciate your efforts and all. And everybody will laugh uh, about that. One guy used to do that all the time at Christmas time. And he got sick one year and a guy dressed up like him and walked around and says, nice to hear, appreciate your efforts and all, and everybody laughs. No, be specific. What did you particularly see or hear or observe that you think is praiseworthy? And then tell them how it made you feel, you know, because you reacted to that. And then just encourage them to keep it up. The one minute praising, it's so powerful. So. Remember, be a positive leader. Be there to serve, not to be served. Remember, your people are your number one customer. And third, wander around and see if you can catch people doing things right and accent the positive. That's the way to be a great positive leader.